going to be talking about uh, rather is energy we shall talk about hydration energy we shall also talk about heat of solution and then we are going to see how these energy changes are related to each other uh, let us look at what we have uh, on my table here now on this table we have uh, sodium ions and chloride ions as you can see now these ions are not bonded to each other so we call them uh, gaseous ions they're in gaseous state how do you form a sodium ion now when you have a sodium atom like this and it loses an electron what we get is usually a sodium ion and when you have a chloride atom like this and it gains an electron in the outermost energy level we have what we call a chloride ions now if when these ions occur like this when when they are not bonded if they are in a separate form we call them uh, gaseous ions now suppose these ions come into contact with water molecules now what usually happens now these are water molecules here we call these uh, these are water molecules as you can see this water molecule has got an oxygen atom here and two hydrogen atoms here now the hydrogen atoms are positively charged as you can see and the oxygen atom is negatively charged we call them partial charges like this so a water molecule has got charges now if now these ions these gaseous ions come into contact with water the positive sodium ion this one is going now to be attracted to the negative side of the water molecule and the water molecules now using their negative uh, positive uh, negative charges uh, side of the oxygen are going to surround that uh, sodium ion like that and when a chlorine atom now comes into contact uh, chlorine ion comes into, a con into contact with water the positive side which is having hydrogen ion is going now to be attracted to the negative chloride ion like that and this now ensures that these two uh, atoms cannot go together to form sodium chloride now this process here is called solvation or hydration now when this process takes place energy changes occur now energy is lost and this energy is the one we call hydration energy remember we have said now surrounding of uh, this uh, sodium ion by this water molecule here is called solvation or hydration so uh, the energy involved here is called hydration energy now if we have our gaseous ions here we start with our gaseous ions here and then these gaseous ions become attracted to each other such that they form a cube ama or a a cube like this or rather is structure of sodium chloride this is a crystal or we also call it a rather structure of sodium chloride now energy is also lost now this energy due to formation of these bodies here sodium chloride bodies to form this uh, rather structure the energy that is usually lost or the energy that is involved is usually called uh rather's energy so formation of this sodium chloride structure or this uh, rather structure here from gaseous ions of sodium and uh, chlorine the energy involved here is called rather's energy in most cases energy is usually lost now suppose now we form this structure now this is a cube or a rather structure for sodium chloride and then we dissolve it in water what will happen this board here will break and then we have separate ions for sodium and chlorine chloride ions and then the same thing they will be surrounded by water molecules here and now the energy involved here is usually called uh, heat of solution so the energy evolved or energy absorbed by this process is called uh, heat of solution now as you can see the, these processes are related suppose you are given uh, the the quantity of the hydration energy and rather is energy it is very possible now to be able to calculate the heat of solution for 
uh, the formation of sodium chloride and so on and so forth. So the, these kind of calculations, we are going to look, to look at them uh, in our next video. What we have seen today is just the relationship between hydration energy, that is energy, and the heat of solution. Thank you very much. Uh, we meet in the next video where we shall be able to now to do the calculations. We, can we be able to determine the amount of heat of a solution given hydration energy and rather energy. Thank you very much. Remember to subscribe and